The way we engage with people, you know, when we first see or meet someone, we perceive the most superficial qualities. So there's always some interior that we may never have access to. And so I like making these drawings and objects where there are layers. Um, some are very legible and then other aspects are not. My name is Kintura Davis and I am a visual artist. So my work mostly consists of drawings right now, um, some objects, but the objects sort of extend from the drawings. Essentially, the drawings kind of embody an interest I have um, in thinking about our relationship with language. The phrases that I use are quite poetic. Um, some extend from text that I've been reading. Some of it is my own writing, and um, I pair the phrase with photographs that I've taken, and then I basically translate the photographic information using rubber letter stamps, dipping that in black oil paint, and sort of section by section render the figure by stamping out the text. The idea of something being both compact and expansive. Um, the book as a form is really interesting to me because it's an object that's very portable, but um, is potentially or oftentimes dense with meaning. And so for a while I've been making these sort of book drawings that can exist as a stack of paper, but then expands if you put all the sheets up, lined up into a large sort of immersive wall drawing. The body of text that I ended up settling on um, is the debate passing the 13th Amendment. On the surface, it does this very positive and necessary thing. But on the other hand, the 13th Amendment uh, leaves this sort of loophole to continue slavery via the prison industrial complex. I like the idea of leaving hints that there's something underneath the surface or something that you don't quite have access to because that's the nature of our interactions in general. Like if you're quite aware that you don't have full access to all the qualities of an object or all the text embedded in a drawing, then that might slow down your reading of it and encourage you to think about how you draw conclusions about whatever you're engaging with.